difficult to get to a colour from. So here's how it works. We take the 12 most eye-catching shots from the German masters. These may be great pots, positional shots, or have a huge significance in the frame. We then find out which shot is best by recreating all of them as accurately as possible in the fewest possible attempts. But we're going to start off with Mark Allen, who's going the wrong way down the table off the pink and has to spin the cue ball around five cushions to end up in perfect position on the red. To play this shot, I'm going to need a lot of left hand side and just enough backspin to end up short of the middle pocket. On my first attempt, it went a little bit wrong, but the cue ball did seem to be going roughly in the right direction. So on my second attempt, when I actually potted the pink, I was a little bit fortunate to find exactly the right line. And although I thought I'd hit it a bit short, I just about had enough pace. It's the plant next from Zhao Zingtong. I don't usually like including these shots for a number of reasons, but this one just looked too good. The difficulty I find with these shots wow. is it's difficult to know exactly how far the balls were apart, and if you put them a little bit too close together, it makes the shot way too easy. And the other reason I don't really like these shots is when they go wrong, it takes forever to put everything back in the right place. This shot just needs to be played with topspin, but for some reason, I'm not sure why, I accidentally kept putting a lot of left hand side on the ball. Not sure why, because I wasn't doing it with other shots, but I was happy to finally get it, because I didn't want to have to put the balls back again. This shot on the yellow is very straight, but unfortunately for Ken Doherty, it's not quite straight enough to allow him to screw back all the way down the table. So he has to bash it round the angles. This one didn't look like it was going to be that difficult until I tried it, when I realised it was incredibly tough to push the cue ball around the five cushions to get on the green. I was struggling to hit it hard enough, even after a few attempts. To try and make the cue ball break wider, I was bouncing it into the yellow with a lot of left hand side and playing it as a a stun shot. I had to pot the yellow right into the left hand side of the pocket and hit it as hard as I possibly could and that just about got me there. Pretty pleased with that. I wasn't 100% sure there I was going to be able to hit it hard enough. Zhao's long potting was pretty much flawless all week in Germany, and this yellow against Judd Trump is probably the best example of that. With no real safety shot, he was forced into this and had to pull out a great pot on the yellow. He was playing it with a small amount of right hand side and stun to swing the cue ball round the angles. My first attempt I hit way too hard, so I had to back the speed off. I was pretty happy to get this in two because I think this is a contender for the best shot of the week. Trying to force a decider against Mark Selby, Yang Bing Tao made a ridiculous clearance, and it was all about doubles. It looked like Mark Selby had got him completely safe here, but Yan managed to pull out a double. He would have been playing this as a shot to nothing, but accidentally came into contact with the pink. So for whatever reason, I'm playing this with a small amount of left hand side to try and cannon the pink as well as getting the double. Which seems ridiculous, but as I'm trying to recreate the shot, I can't exactly do something else. Either way, it made the shot a lot harder than I was expecting, and it took me a few more attempts. I didn't exactly kiss the pink into the right place, but it made my clearance a lot easier than Jan's. As I was explaining with the last shot, the way Yang kissed the pink left him an easier blue, but it left the pink on the cushion, so he had to get another double. Again, he would have been playing this as a shot to nothing, but his reaction after the shot convinced me that he did actually play it. The other part of this shot that you have to get right is the top spin and left hand side. This makes the cue ball arc off the cushion and head down towards the bolt cushion. I found this shot really difficult and because of its significance, it might end up in the top three at the end of the video. Ah. 
as Judd Trump wasn't playing anything like the sort of ridiculous exhibition shots we saw from him last year, Sean Murphy decided he was going to have a go instead. Sean gets on the red perfectly off the black here, playing the cue ball around four cushions and getting the perfect cannon. He almost certainly didn't play the cannon, so I was just looking to get in position on the red here. And to do that, I needed to play it with a lot of right hand side and backspin to hit the left hand side cushion here just before the middle pocket and the right hand side should then give me just enough spin to get around the yellow and brown. This is a really impressive shot that's probably going to be let down in the end because it had a slightly fortunate outcome. I thought I got this almost spot on on my sixth attempt before the cue ball went in the middle pocket. And on my seventh, I tried to follow a very similar line. I was surprised to see I actually cannon the red in almost exactly the same way, so I was really happy with it. <laughs> Didn't think I'd get the cannon. Yang Bing Tao's got one of those awkward shots where the cushion gets a little bit in the way of the rest here. Not only is this an awkward shot, it's a really difficult pot down the cushion to win the frame against Ryan Day. To pot this you've got to be incredibly accurate without being able to get the head of the rest exactly where you want it. Even though I was a little bit disappointed this one took me so long as I was expecting to get it a bit quicker than this. We've got a shot from Luca Brussel coming up after we find Kinsey from Ostend, Belgium. She's roughly there. It didn't look like Luca had a pot at all here, but he manages to pot one red off another. I'm not sure I would have even seen this, but now I have, how difficult is it going to be to play? Not too tough, but I still like the look of the shot. Kyron Wilson needs snookers to stay in the match against Ricky Walden and he manages to play the cue ball around four cushions to get it in behind the pink. This is an excellent shot and it needs a small amount of right hand side to swing the cue ball a little bit wide around the angles. But mostly this is a good pace judgement shot which must be tough to get right when it feels like you're already out of the tournament. I was fairly close on my first two attempts, so it surprised me quite a bit that my third one went so badly wrong and I completely mishit it. But after this small mistake, I got right back on track and started to find my line again. It was then just a case of getting the right amount of speed and not striking the cue ball too hard. On my fifth attempt, I thought I got it, but just slightly overhit it. This could have been one of the best shots of the week, but something unfortunate happened after Kyron Wilson got the snooker. I got the snooker as well on my sixth attempt behind the black and I was saved a little bit by the hole in the black spot. Ricky Walden, however, looked like he completely missed the blue before it came back round a second time and just flicked it and eventually won the frame a match from here. We've got another Zhaozing Tong shot coming up after we find Paul, who's from Debrecen, Hungary. Roughly, hang on. There. This is one of the best cued shots of the week as Zhao makes the cue ball arc back away from the pink down the table. I found this shot incredibly difficult to get right. It's a difficult pot and you've also got to screw the cue ball back quite a long way. I got it on my second attempt but unfortunately screwed in off. I had to play it a little bit harder when I potted it. On my fourth attempt I did actually get it but I think this is actually the best I could have done. Yang Bing Tao has been left this pot to win another close match against Mark Allen. Once again, this was an impressive match winning pot under pressure. Again, not too much to say with this one. He's just stunning the cue ball down safe onto the bolt cushion in case he misses it. We didn't see the same level of flamboyance in the German Masters we saw last year, but Zhao and Yang still potted some really tough pots at critical times, and this is definitely one of them. It took me a few attempts to get the angle right here, and this is definitely an impressive match winning shot from an impressive match. 
So for the results, third place goes to Zhao Zingtong and this impressive yellow against Judd Trump. This is so tough because if he misses it, he's almost certainly losing the frame. Second goes to Yang Bingtao. I'm pretty sure he played this double and it made a huge difference in the context of the match. But first I'm going to give to Mark Allen. This was a really well thought out complex positional shot and for me it's comfortably the shot of the week. I also like Sean Murphy's shot but I thought he was a little bit fortunate to get the cannon on the red and Zhao Zingtong playing this deep screw shot down the table was probably the shot I found hardest to recreate but by this stage he was already 8-0 up in the final. In general I thought there was a lot of good shots on this list so let me know your top three in the comments section down below and if you want to see how tough it was for me to recreate the shots from last year's German Masters have a look at this video and remember don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later!